Hi guys, um, I'm just going to wait for a few people to hop on before I run into um, what I'm going to show you today. I'm just going to set my timer so I don't run out of time, which I'm quite good at doing. Um, and while we wait for a few more people to hop on, I'm just going to flash up um, these details. So just our website, um, Etsy, Instagram and our Facebook profiles just for anybody that's catching up later. They know where to find us and where to shop. Um, all the products I'm going to show you today are already live on the website and Etsy, so we're ready to shop um, straight away. Cool. Right. Okay, let's jump straight in then because there's a few people joining. Um, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to add any comments as we go along and I'll try and add them um, along the way. So my name's Hannah and I'm one half of Fox and Squirrel Creations. We are based down in Devon, um, along the coastline, uh, and we started our dye business in 2020, so we're a bit of a lockdown business. Um, it's my side business, so I also work as a forest school leader up in Exeter, and then I um, do my business alongside it. So um, I have a few days a week to dye up wool and make lots of new things. So I'm going to jump in and show you my themed colourway for this month's um, Yorkshire Yarn Fest. So the theme this month was the Norwegian word, now bear with me, um, koslig, which means cosy and comfortable and snuggly, but also in sort of a social setting. So not just snuggly indoors, but also um, socialising with people and outside. So I created a colourway that's... Um, reflects what I like doing in these sort of months and obviously being a forest school leader I'm outside predominantly all the time so um, it kind of married up and this is what I've come up with so first I'm going to show you it on the double knit base and then I'll show you it on the sock base so this is my version my take on the theme this month and I went for my inspiration was winter walks through the woodland so um the woods I mainly work in are pine forests, so we've got the green for the nice pine forest. Um, the brown represents the earth, and our one of our forest school sites is quite muddy, so we've got quite a lot of mud around. Um, and then we've got this golden yellow for I like snuggly, um, snuggly, um, like warming colours. But also we have a campfire, so um, we. I have a campfire most session so and we all tend to sit around with a nice cup of tea first thing in the morning listening to the birds um and getting ready for the day so this kind of was summed up in my colorway so browns greens and this golden yellow um and yeah that's my um depiction of the theme i really enjoy creating this colorway um so that is on double knit and as some people might know who's been following us We've reached, recently launched our sock base. So mid-January we launched our sock yarn for the first time. So this means this is the first month where we now have our themed colourway on sock base. So here it is on sock base, um, very similar. I do find dyeing on the sock base that some of the colours come out a bit more vibrant. So like the yellows um, comes out a bit stronger. But then the brown... Yeah, the brown comes out a bit lighter. So, yeah, it's um, been interesting learning how to dye on different bases and how the dye takes differently on each base. So, yeah, so we've got double knit on the my right. And then you've got um, the sock here. So that's our themed colourway, Coslig. Nice and cosy. So, yeah, so um, I've dyed up four skeins of each of these, 100 grams. Um Obviously, they're exclusive for this month, so once they're once they're gone, they're gone. So that's our themed colourway. And I thought for the rest of my video, I would run through um, the sock um, colourways I've released earlier in January. So I did my big up sh big shop update on the sixteenth of January, I think. Um, and these are the colourways I released, and I've still got lots of stock left. So if you like any, they're all available. So first up is our classic unicorn. Now we also have this colourway on double knit and it is super popular. 
so I had to recreate it on our sock yarn so it's this lovely gorgeous pastel pastel colorway so we've got like pinks mint green like this lovely pale blue like a peachy orange and then this lemon color and it's like a unicorny pastely rainbow so it's unicorn it's super popular on double knit so I'm sure it's going to be equally popular on sock see the nice blues and then when we've got a bit of the uh, dye merge and you've got this little nice lilac -y purple coming out so lots of lovely colors um, and then we start getting a bit brighter because if people have been following me you know I like bright colors so this is our completely neon um, colorway you can see how bright it is by how the ring lights picking up and this has got all UV reacted dyes in so basically whatever you knit or crochet in this it will glow up in the dark so I think this stuff is great for if you're knitting a hat or gloves or I always thought a bandana for the dog so like in the winter when it's really dark um, and you want uh, yeah as bright as possible on this would uh, this would be perfect and also if you made a pair of socks in this you would um you would uh never never lose them in your sock drawer so our sock base is um the same composition as double knit so it's 75 percent superwash merino wool and 25 percent nylon the nylon gives it a bit of robustness and helps withstand lots of wear so perfect for socks so this one's called carnival and there's our neon colorway then we've got next up we've got um stick of rock the stick of rock is like a bright rainbow version. As soon as I dyed this, this literally reminds me of the stick of rock you get um, down the beach in the summer. So obviously I live in Devon, down in Paynton, so we are right on the coast. So we have lots of um, seasonal tourist shops. So um, yeah, stick of rock, always picking up stick of rock when we were when we were children. So that's stick of rock, we've got... It's got like this bright turquoise, you've got this bright green, you've got oranges, you've got greens and red. So all the colours of the rainbow and a few more. So that is Stick of Rock. That one's proven quite popular. Next up we've got Nebula. Nebula is um, a funky mix of like this bright electric purple, which has got pink in as well. You've got turquoise, you've got a bit of bright pink splash in there and you've also got if you can see um some splashes of um black in there so you've got splashes of black uh you can see it a bit better up there but splash of black and this is nebula so um kind of space agey uh galactic planets you know nice and bright um yeah really will stand out i love the blues and how the purples and the blues work in this one so that is nebula Next up we have Midnight. So Midnight uses the same um, electric purple pinky colour but then I've also married it up with this deep navy. So you've got like a blend of navy and purple. So that's Midnight and then you've got where it blends um, down the bottom you've got like this darker purple as well. So that is Midnight. And then next I've got two um, one of a kinds. So they use the same dye solutions um, but came up very different. So these are one of a kind. So what I'm trying to do this year is basically when I finish dyeing, if I've got um, any dye solutions left over, I'm going to chuck them all, well I'm going to chuck some yarn in a pan and chuck the dye solutions over it so I don't waste anything. Um, so anything that I've... Um, that are too small quantities to save for like the next dyeing session. I'm gonna use them up by creating these one of a kind. So these are both called Color Explosion, but they're I've got version one and version two. So when you're on the website on Etsy, they're they're listed separately because they're quite different. Um, but basically, I think they've both got probably about ten different colors in the way that the dye solutions are merged. So this one's got picked up more of the turquoise. But you've got like greens, purples, like reds, pinks, just an eclectic mix. And these are obviously completely one of a kind. There's no, no, um, like instructions on how I did it. It was literally in the pan, chuck the solution on and see how it comes out. So these, 
these are literally one of a kind so if you ever want to um get a unique skein of wool these are the ones and this one picked up more of like the pinky peachy tones but then it's got greens and a bit of blue and a bit of bare yarn, bit of everything so they're completely unique they make a wonderful pair of socks i also think this has got a bit of a kingfisher vibe to it a bit orangey blue but yeah loads of different colors so there are one of a kinds um and yeah as i go along i'll be making up more one of a kinds um and yeah add into the collection and then last but not least i've got about two and a half minutes left is a couple of new colorways that i did on double knit over christmas so I was quite fortunate that I managed to have two weeks off work over Christmas. So I blitzed the dye pans and did loads of, well, I basically dyed all the sock yarn and then topped up some of the colourways we were running low on, on double knit. So these are our two new double knit colourways. So first up is watermelon. Now, some of you might have remembered this from a blast from the past. So I used to dye this up way at the start of our dying journey when I used to use an old um, yarn supplier and now I've obviously switched to a new yarn supplier Chester wool that I've recreated it on that yarn base so this is watermelon it's um, aqua aqua marina like a minty green and then you've got this candy floss pink and then you've got some um, bare undyed yarn to create like this pastel watermelon effect which is quite nice and that used to be quite popular when I dyed it up before, so we've got that. Um, it's a nice spring colourway. Obviously, we're starting to warm up. Hopefully, you know we might might get a cold snap, but we're starting to move towards um, spring and the nights drawing out, and we're getting some more light. So, um, some nice light colourways. So that's watermelon, double knit, on seventy five percent superwash merino and twenty five percent nylon. So that's watermelon. And this is a new one I created, a um, bit of an experiment, but this one's called Under the Sea. So it's got like this minty green um, overall colour. And then I did lots of speckles of the same base colour. So I've got speckles of a bit darker green, speckles of pink, patches of turquoise. And again, yeah, Under the Sea. So yeah, really nice, nice green, minty, and hopefully a super popular. Just going to check on the time. That's okay. Got a couple of minutes. Um, so yeah, these two work quite nicely together because they obviously pick up the green. Um, yeah, so that will work really nice. Um, and I just while I spy it, I just think our new themed colourway Coslig would work really well on our falling leaves. Um, will work really well together. So you've got this. This is falling leaves. Which is um, one of our autumn colourways, and it's got um, uh, green, yellow, oranges, bit of brown in. I think those would marry up really well together. Um, I ran out of time to put yarn bands on my uh, themed colourway, but they will do when I send them out, so don't worry. We'll have all the nice um, new yarn bands. We did this just over Christmas. Um, I'm making our own yarn bands now, and we're hand stamping them with our new funky stamp and then uh, sticky labels on the back so oh look nice Etsy orders just coming um, that's good so um, I'm nearly at the end now uh, yeah about a minute left so um yeah so thank you for watching uh, new themed colorways uh, live all the socks live everything's live now so um, feel free to shop away and my next posting date will be wednesday so i'll have everything packed up tomorrow and sending out wednesday so that will be wonderful um quick shout out to sophie for organizing this event um and yeah looking forward we are back in march for our next virtual yorkshire on fest so um take care guys and see you all very soon bye <laughs>